Nate, it's all falling into place, isn't it? WrestleMania, yes, I, and it's looking good. Never looked better. Never. More excited about this than any WrestleMania in history. Well, let's talk about Ronda Rousey, who is back in WWE full-time, we're told. What's her impact? Huge. Huge. Um, I can't tell you. I mean, I just, this once again, <laughs> She's not Ronnie. She's Ronda Rousey. Okay? And anybody stupid enough to call her Ronnie and make a joke of her presence and her, what she brings to the company is out of their mind. AKA, um, as an example of, what, what is her name now? Um, Big Time Bex. Hey, Ronnie, welcome back. Wow, that's exciting. That's really exciting. Ronnie. Hey, welcome back. Hey, how about thank you, Rhonda, for showing up because I'm not the man anymore. I'm just, I, I'm generic. Uh, I'm who? I, I, who am I? Big time bags, the last kicker. I don't know. <laughs> hi, hi, Ronnie. Nice showing up. Well, I'm going to call her Rhonda. I'm going to call her Rhonda. Uh, yeah, Ron, I am too. Rhonda, Rhonda, by God, Rousey. Ronnie, Rhonda, Rousey. And how did she get so good right away? She took the pro wrestling like a duck to water. Kurt it's Angle. Very, yeah, there you go. T talk about that. I just, you know, some people get it, some people don't. Number one, she's very athletic, probably more athletic than any female MMA star that I've ever seen. I don't, and that, that stuff she does when she, she virtually climbs her body, you have to take it over in a, in a, in a I guess it would be a, ju a judo move of some kind. I mean, I hadn't seen it before. And she's just fresh, and she's uh, an amazing athlete, and and credibility, I mean, unbelievable. Like, Brock, there's some people that walk in that ring, and you go, this is somebody. That's how I feel about Charlotte. She gets in the ring, she's somebody. Yep. Sasha gets in the ring, she's somebody. Don't make me run the list of people down that get in the ring and are a vanilla envelope. <laughs> well, Manila, vanilla, actually, both definitely apply. And I give credit to Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. They came in from MMA and legit wrestling, Olympic wrestling, and gave pro wrestling respect. Yeah. And a lot of the legit, so-called legit athletes don't do that, do they? And, and I think that's helped Ronda. Well, she's as legit as hell. I mean, and I, I just, I've never, I've never, I'm, I don't, I mean, I've, it's hard to, for someone that's from the outside that came in and is, is so respectful. Um, I'm trying to think of who I would give that accolade to that I, I guess obviously Kurt, but um, I just and Brock. I can't say, I, I can't say, and Brock. Oh, yeah, of course, Brock. Brock treats it phenomenally. I mean, that's, that's a given, but Rhonda has been, been involved on a, on, a, on fewer occasions and her coming back. And walking into the rumble, and I mean, it just it took it to a whole new level. And I'm 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 so happy for Charlotte, Ashley, my daughter. I can guarantee you right now they will steal the show. I would not want to be on after them ever. No, I I totally you know, agree. You know, you, you know Charlotte, and the, and the two of them. It'll be the most incredible thing in the history of wrestling, men or women. My well, prediction. I, I I second that, Nate. And the minute I heard it was going to be Ronda and uh, Charlotte, uh, that just made WrestleMania even more of a must-see event for me. And uh, those two have great chemistry together. They've worked together before, obviously. Where's that chemistry come from? Is it just two elite athletes? Is it two, two, two elite athletes. Very simply put, two elite athletes that know what they can get out of each other and push each other to the max. Well, and here's, no, no whining, no crying. Just take it to the next level. And here's the thing about Charlotte, too. And, and I know she's your daughter, but this is me talking now. How many times do we say what incredible chemistry Charlotte has with Sasha, with, oh. with, 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 with Rhonda, yeah. with Asuka, with, with everybody? Bailey. Right. Yeah. And, and you come to realize what the common denominator is. And again, not to pump her tires even more in age, but the common denominator is true greatness. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you an example. You know who had a great match with Nia Jax? Ronda. That's true. 
That's yeah. true. Yeah, and I will tell you right now, it's the best match she ever had. I mean, she just has a gift, and she, as she's, you know, she's very her self confidence is never weaning, um, and she just brings it, and that's why. You can only imagine three months from now what what you're going to see at WrestleMania, or two and a half months. Now, why does a shooter like Ronda Rousey have so much credibility in pro wrestling? Because obviously they're not shooting. Everybody knows the nature of pro wrestling. But why does that help uh, her reputation so much? And really, every shooter's reputation. Because they take it as far as they can and then follow the program. Right. There's yeah. always kind of that... Believability. Right. There you go. That's the word I was... Always, always in the back of your mind, if you're a, of a really good wrestling fan in the back of your mind, sometimes you don't know which way it's going to go. Now, and, what I... And, I... and I think that's where Ashley and... What I like about... I say the same thing about Roman Reigns with Brock, as I say, Charlotte with that. And the, the most important thing is that Charlotte's not afraid of Ronda. And, he, and Roman's not afraid of Brock. I would, venture, I, would, I would venture to say that other girl wrestlers um, and other uh, of, the, of the guys that have had to wrestle Brock, the number of them that are walking down that aisle wondering how, how cool that's going to be, myself included. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not leaving myself out. Walking down the aisle right, facing Brock Lesnar, there's a lot to think about, especially when you're 55. <laughs> when, 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 when you were in the, in the uh, I don't want to say prime of your career in age, because that was certainly a, a long period. Yeah. Now, Charlotte has had so many great matches against so many people, and, and Ron has had her share, too, given her relatively limited time participating. What can they come up with new for a match like this? Is it about adding moves and, and, and different uh, nuances in that regard, or is it more about making it as dramatic as possible and telling a story? Both. New moves, dramatic. By the time they get there, it'll be a story of a lifetime. I love the way they started out. And, 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 and Charlotte got, got the greatest line that I've heard in a long time, but comparing the belt to Ronda's child. You know, my baby is more beautiful than yours. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, that's, 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 that's kick-ass stuff to get you to sit up on the edge of your chair. Not Ronnie. <laughs> That was that was really yeah, that was motivating. As soon as I heard that, I couldn't wait to do the podcast again. Yeah, you know I had to hear it, Ronnie. <laughs> Welcome back, Ronnie. Really? Now uh, we haven't. Now uh, we got WrestleMania coming up. We're going to talk about that a ton in the days and weeks ahead. Uh, is WrestleMania better? Is it one day event or a two day event? I. I kind of go back and forth on that, Nate, because I like the one-day event, the Super Bowl feel, but there's so much money in it being a two-day event, isn't there? Well, there is, and to be quite honest with you, I, even though uh, the COVID thing caused a lot of issues, after the New York WrestleMania, when Ashley and uh, when Charlotte and Becky and Ronda went in the ring at 12.30 at night, I, I'm sold on the two-day event. Well, why can't you just make it shorter and not have them go on at because, 12.30? Because, because I think by design, it's to get as much of the talent in that position, and they deserve to be. Okay, that's fair. I mean, you know, they work hard all year long, and everybody that's been part of the show on a regular basis deserves to be at Mania. It's, that, that's a simple explanation on my point. No, I'm if, sold. If, I... if, you're, if you're on TV every week, and you're there, and you're biting your knee, you know, if you're worried, nervous, you're not going to be in the show... The chances are greater that you're going to be part of the show now in some capacity, and that is something for them to remember the rest of their life, being at WrestleMania. Okay, I totally buy that. But I I, I'm, I do agree that 1230 for Charlotte and Becky and Ronda at New York was, was too late because I thought they did an outstanding job. Oh, they did, but the, the crowd was exhausted. They still tore it down, but the crowd was exhausted. I, I think even the people at home by that point were exhausted. That's what I'm saying. I was. <laughs> <laughs> that cut way into my bar time. <laughs> oh, let, let's not kid ourselves. It was on at the bar. No, I didn't get back to the hotel with her because I waited for her. Oh, right, right, right. Until 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, then there was they no gave, bar they, time. They gave me 30 minutes. It lit, what, at the bar? Yeah, bar closed well, at 2.30. So I don't believe that either because you would have thrown money at them to keep it open. I've been I there did. and seen that. No, 100 bucks to keep it open at 2.30. 
<laughs> That's it. They wouldn't give you any more. No. Wow. Yeah. Well, don't go back to that bar. I well, won't. <laughs> hey.